Alright, welcome everyone to another uh, video lesson in science. So in this video lesson, we will go to talk about uh, chemistry. Alright, so what topic in chemistry? So we will not waste time. Let's, let's go to the slide. Alright, so here we are in the... Okay, in our topic today, which is called uh, naming of uh, naming of hydrocarbons. All right. So, but before we go to this, uh, but before we go to this uh, lesson, before we jump into this lesson, uh, let me introduce to you first what kind of element are we dealing with here. All right. So, this element has a valence of four. All right. So, it has a valence of uh, four, and it has an at atomic number of. Okay, it has an atomic number of uh, 6 and atomic mass of 12. Alright, atomic mass of 12. Alright, so basically you know this element already. So this element is carbon. Alright, so there is one property of carbon. Alright, there is one property of carbon that is uh, a part of this particular topic, and that is its ability to perform single bond, double bond, or even triple bond. Alright, so there are no uh, there are no elements that can uh, that can perform or that can do the same thing as carbon da does. Alright, so that is why uh, that is why the topic that we have here today has something to do with its uh, compound that it is formed that is called hydrocarbon. So where can we find these hydrocarbons? Hydrocarbons, we can find them on petroleum products, alright, and products like or that contains uh, wax, alright, mm, other stuffs like uh, cosmetics, alright, so it contains hydrocarbons, alright. So, Okay, so basically hydrocarbons have many uh, applications, especially the, the one, one application that is very, uh, very alarming right now and that is plastic. Alright, plastics are made up of hydrocarbons. Alright, so, okay, so what are these hydrocarbons? How, how do we name these hydrocarbons? So that is our topic for today. Right, so let's continue. All right, so what are the base? All right, so what are the basic or what are the things that we need to take note of when we name hydrocarbons? All right, so number one, we have type. All right, so the type of hydrocarbon, all right, uh, affects what kind of hydrocarbon it is. All right, so there are three types of hydrocarbons. So we have alkanes. All right, so if the hydrocarbon has single bond, it is called alkanes. We have alkenes. Alright, so we have alkenes. So alkenes are hydrocarbons with double uh, bonds. Alright, right. it has a double bond. Alright, next one, we have alkynes. Alright, alkynes is a hydrocarbon that has triple bonds. Alright, so th the, type of, the type of hydrocarbon gives us the idea of what kind or what name of the hydrocarbon are we dealing with. Alright, so the next one is number of, hydro, uh, number of carbons. Alright, the number of carbons affects the name of your hydrocarbon. Alright, if, uh, if it has one carbon, we call it methane. If it has two carbon, we, have, we call it ethane. Then if it has three carbon, we call it propane. And four carbon, we have butane. Alright, and so on and then so forth. So, the name of the hydrocarbon depends upon the number of carbons it contains. Alright, so that is number two. And number three, uh, this, the side chain, alright, the side chain that they form, all right, and the position of this side chain affects what kind or what name of the hydrocarbon do we have. All right, so if it has so many side chain and these side chains are positioned to different uh, carbon numbers, all right, uh, different numbers of carbon in your structure, so definitely it will going to have different name than it will going to have a different name than the or it will going to have a different name compared to other hydrocarbons that you have encountered all right so the side chain the type and the position of the side chain affects all right uh, the name that we will give on your hydrocarbon okay. 
Okay, so there's an explosion uh, on, uh, on on the presentation. All right, so what are the okay? So what are the mnemonics that we we use in determining the number of hydrocar or number of carbons present in your hydrocarbon? All right, so these are the first four uh, prefixes. So we have met, we have et, then we have prop, then we have but. All right, so when we are dealing one uh, one carbon, or if your hydrocarbon has one carbon on its structure, we call it, uh, the prefix use is met, then two for et, three for prop, four for but, and then so on and so forth. Now, in order for you to somehow uh, not, or in order for you not to forget this uh, prefixes, we have here monkeys eat peeled bananas. Okay, so monkeys eat uh, peeled bananas. Okay, so let's go to other prefixes that are used. All right, so we have here pen. All right, so for five. Okay, so then we have oct. All right, oct for eight. All right, so we have here five, eight, and we have dec for ten. All right, so ten, decade, decimal, decathlon, and other uh, that we haven't mentioned. So we have six for hex, we have hep for seven, and none for nine. All right, so take note of these prefixes. Take note of these prefixes. So we might be able to use this one in our uh, sample problem later on. All right. Okay, so basic naming of hydrocarbon. Number one is the name will end at different, uh, the name will end on different aspect. Number one, if it is single bond, that is A and E. All right, so if it is single bond, that is A and E. Then E and E for double bonds, all right? So, and uh, I or Y and E for triple bonds. So, meaning to say, just check out first the number of bonds, all right? Just check out the number of bonds in the structure before you name your hydrocarbon. Because the number or this uh, bonds that you have right here will affect the name that you will give uh, to your hydrocarbon. All right. Uh, the number of carbons depend on the prefix, all right? So the number of carbons will give you the prefix that you will go, you will going to use, all right, in naming hydrocarbon. So we have, uh, I have mentioned this one uh, earlier, all right? So just uh, remember this uh, prefix that are used, all right, in terms of number of carbons. All right, so we have right here, uh, a question what name would be given to this hydrocarbon that has number one is seven uh, okay seven carbon and nine carbon alkane all right so please uh, feel free to post this video uh, if you want to answer the question that we have right here all right so we we can call all right so we can call the seven carbon all right so we can call the seven carbon as heptane all right, so why, why is it heptane? Because it is uh, an alkane, so an alkane ends with A and E. All right, so the nine carbon is no name. Okay, so there you go. Next one. How about uh, two carbon and four carbon alkyne? Again, you can post this video if you want to answer the question. All right, so we can have, uh, we can have ethane. All right, for the two carbon, and we can have uh, bute butane for the four carbon molecule. All right, so next one. Okay, uh, one carbon alkene. Yeah. So one carbon alkene is very rare. All right, so we have methane. All right, so one carbon. So it's very rare to have a one carbon under under alkenes all right so but if you search it on the if, if you if you search uh the google all right under the google search uh it will give you some some info of what is methane all about all right so just if you if you are uh if you are interested you can search this one on google all right and see for yourself what are the info that the all right, what, ad, what info, all right, do we have right here on methane? All right, so let's have the, the three carbon alkene, so we called it as propene. 
All right, so propene. So why propene? Because it ends up with E&E, &E, that is an alkene. All right, so propene is an appropriate name for a three-carbon hydrocarbon. All right, there we go. Okay, so next one, uh, numbering hydrocarbons. So how do we number hydrocarbons? All right, so basically in a common sense, but, uh, in a common sense uh, way, uh, we can number hydrocarbons as long that you see a uh, carbon atom, all right? You number it as one, uh, one carbon, two carbon, and then so on and then so forth. All right, so I have right here, Okay, I have right here an example. This is a condensed structure. Alright, so this is a condensed structure. There is also a version called line structure. Alright, so the one that we have right here. Okay, so in the condensed structure, you can see how many carbon that you have. So if you look at the C and then count it, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright, so we have five carbon atoms. So you know already the name of this hydrocarbon. Now in the line structure below, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, just focus on the edges. Alright, you just focus on the edges in numbering your carbons. Alright, so okay, so in numbering uh, no, in numbering the, the in numbering the carbon, we must uh, take note also of some uh, of some uh, instances. Now, if this one has a double bond, you cannot number the way I numbered it a while ago. All right, you cannot number this one. Now, there's a certain rule that is used. Okay, there's a certain rule that is used in numbering a hydrocarbon that has double bond. All right, so let's see what is that uh, one. Okay. Alright, so okay, so there is a rule that you always give priority to the double bond and the double bond should have the lowest number as possible. Alright, so in, in any case, the one that we numbered earlier, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is, uh, that is wrong, alright, because we have a double carbon, alright, double bond rather, we have a double bonded uh, carbon here. Instead, we count it the other way around. So we have one, two, three, four, and five carbon. All right. So as long that we prioritize the carbon with double bond as number one. Okay, lowest number possible. All right. So let's name this uh, following uh, compounds that we have right here. All right. So since we have four carbons here, one, two, three, four. Alright, so if we count it the, the other way around, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the double bond will fall on the same number. So we can call this one as 2-butene. Alright, so why 2-butene? So because 1, 2, 3, 4. So the double bond is located on number 2 carbon. Alright, so that is 2-butene. Alright, so next one. So we have here the C2H4. Alright, so we can draw this one. It looks like this. H4. There we go. Alright, so this is uh, this is what the line, uh, with this is what the condensed structure of this compound looks like. Alright, so since we have two carbon here, since we have two carbon and a double bond, so we can call it as ethene. Alright, so we can call it as ethene. Alright, so how about this uh, this hydrocarbon below? All right, so we can count the num we can count the number of carbon. Let's start first with this uh, side one, two. All right, so we have one, two, three. Okay, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine carbon here. Tapo uh, and okay and. All right, we can uh, we can try counting it the other way around. So we have one. All right, so two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So as you can see here, as you can see here, the double bond will fall on number 6 and number 3. Alright, so number 6 and number 3. So which is which of these uh which of these numbers or which are which of these uh carbons is correct? Alright, so the correct answer here is 3. Okay, since it is 9, so we have no name. Why three? Because three is lower than six. All right. So as the rule, uh, as the rule stated, always give the double bond the lowest number possible. 
Alright, so take note of that one. Okay, so that is some example. We have more of that later. Okay, so... Okay, so we have now the branch, alright? So what we talked about earlier is the parent chain, alright? We have now the branch. Now the branch are usually an alkyl groups or other functional group, alright? So, but we will focus only on alkyl groups, alright? So the functional group will be a topic for another day. Alright, so um, this is a group of, uh, a group, okay, these are the groups that are formed when one hydrogen atom is kicked up, alright? Is kicked out. Of an alkene. All right. So what happens is uh, there is a missing uh, hydrogen, but an opening. All right. There's an opening on that particular carbon. So on that carbon, you can attach another one. All right. So so as we all know, the carbon can attach four hydrogen, but once you kick out an hyd a hydrogen on the other side, it can attach another uh, groups on that particular uh, bond. Okay. So, okay, instead of using A and E, we use YL, all right? So, making it methyl, all right? So, we making it methyl, so we have ethyl, we have propyl, and then butyl. Notice that it is now YL, all right? Instead of E and E, A and E, or Y and E, all right? So, that is the branch alkanes, and that's how you name them. All right, so later uh, we will um, we will try to find out this uh, branch chains in our sample problem. Okay, next one. Okay, so how do we name this side chain? All right, so how do we name this side chain respectively? So number one, all right, if you take a look at this uh, structure that you have right here, this is a line structure. All right, so this is a line structure. And the first thing that we were going to do is to find out the longest chain in this structure. Alright, so if we find out the longest chain, so we'll use a highlight, a highlighter to, uh, alright, I will use a highlighter to highlight the longest chain. So if we count this one, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so 5 is the longest as of, uh, so far. So we have 1, 2, 3, alright. So one, two, three, four. All right. So four is not the longest. So we have five, and it looks like this. So five. There we go. Okay. So let's uh, number those carbon. All right. All right. Let's number those carbon. Okay. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. We can number it the other way around. So we have one, two. Three, four, and five. All right. So later on, we will choose which which one is uh, the correct, okay, correct uh, number for our or correct number for our uh, structure that we have right here. Okay. So basically, this structure is called two three dimethyl pentane. So how is it? Uh, how did that happen? All right. So if we take a look at this one, all right. So we have two methyl here. One, two. All right, and our parent chain is pentane. So because we have five carbon here, all right? And these two methyl are located on carbons number two and number three. Why two and three? Why not three and four? All right, so we can have it as three, four, uh, dimethyl, dimethyl, all right? Dimethyl uh, pentane. Okay, so we can have that one. All right, but this is... In, uh, this is uh, a wrong answer, right? So why is that so? It's because, okay, so it's because if we count it, uh, if we count the longest possible carbon chain, all right, the longest possible and the lowest, all right, and uh, if we find the longest possible carbon chain, we provide also, if that is an alkane, so this is a single bond, we provided also that the longest, uh, the lowest value priority must be present or must be given to your uh, side chains like that like the one that we have right here the lowest number possible okay now in a cyclic structure in a cyclic structure like the one that i have right here all right there is no longest chain all right there's no longest chain before uh, be because uh, whichever way you count the cyclic carbon whichever way you count 
on that carb uh, on that structure all right it uh it falls on the same thing all right so it falls on the same thing and for example we count th uh, we started counting right here we so have we have one we have two we have three we have four all right so it falls on the same thing so it is always falls on four all right so there is no longest chain here so whatever number of carbons did you uh, have as a result of counting it uh, it is what it is all right so you cannot have six here you cannot have uh, you cannot have uh, five or so on and so forth so hey that's the longest chain all right so the alkyl groups ends with yl all right, so take note of that one. And most uh, commonly used uh, alkyl is the methyl, right? The ethyl and the propyl uh, groups. Okay. All right, so let's combine those rules, all right, to form one uh, concrete rules for naming hydrocarbon. All right, so number one. All right, so choose the correct ending. So we have, all right, so we have A and E. All right, for single bond, E and E for double bond, and Y and E for triple bond. All right, so number two, determine the longest carbon chain. So always do that one. Count the longest carbon chain before uh, you do anything else. All right, so in the cyclic structure, all right, in the cyclic structure, the longest chain starts and stops within the cyclic structure. All right, so if you have... Okay, if you have a carbon or if you have a cyclic structure like this, okay, once you started counting like that, it ends up inside the like cyclic structure, all right? So that's how you determine the longest chain in your cyclic structure. All right, then number three, assign numbers for the carbon, all right? So assign numbers for the carbon. If you, if you count it, all right? If you count it properly based on its longest chain, then assign numbers on it, then you will find out what kind of name are you going to give that uh, structure, all right? So take note first of its um, multiple bonds, all right? Take note first of its multiple bond and follow it by the longest number or longest carbon chain that you have on your uh, structure. And ne next one is to assign the number that corresponds to the number of carbon on your structure all right and attach prefix if it is uh, if it is necessary to okay to tell us or to tell okay to tell us the number all right of carbon present on the chain now if it is a cyclic that the one that you have right here you can add the prefix called cyclo all right so this is a cyclopropane all right, so because it has three sides, all right, so it, it has three carbons, cyclopropane, that is what, that is what you call it, all right, so cyclopropane, all right, next one, number five, all right, so determine the correct name from, for each branch, so before you give the name, before you give the final name, make sure that the branches are properly identified, all right, so take note of that one. Next one, number six is attach the name of the branch alphabetically. All right, so priority is the alphabetical uh, alphabetical arrangement on your branch. So E first before M, all right, M before P, so on and so forth. All right, so that is number six. And you also, uh, aside from uh, assigning, uh, assigning it into alphabetical uh, position, uh, you assign numbers, all right, where do, uh, where those alkyl groups found, all right? You assign numbers where those alkyl groups are found. Okay, that is number six. Next, when there are two or more, when there are two or more alkyl that are found on your uh, structure, all right, and not only found on your structure, they are connected to one uh, carbon. All right, it is attached to one carbon. So what you're going to do here is to provide the correct prefix for those uh, for the number of alkyl groups that is present on your structure. For example, I have right here, if you have two methyl, so you put the numbers where it is attached. So in, in our case, we have two and four. And since we have two methyl here, we can call it dimethyl. Okay, so take note guys, it will not affect the alphabetical arrangement, all right? It's still M, all right? It will still go M, okay? So 
in this case, which one go first? Is it the ethyl or the dimethyl? So the thing here is, it will not be the dimethyl that will go first. It is the ethyl. All right, four ethyl, two four dimethyl, so on and then so forth. All right, so like that we have right here. All right. Okay, so supposedly the tri must come first or must be last because P, alright, P first before T, alright. But we do not look this one, but we lo we are looking on the uh, the alkyl group in which the prefix is attached to. So we have methyl, so M before P, alright. So next one, when there are identical group, alright, don't forget, alright. So do not put one number. Always put two numbers even though they are attached to the same carbon uh, attachment all right so in our case that we have right here probably this car this hydrocarbon has two methyl that is attached to carbon number two at the same time all right they are attached to carbon number two both of this uh, alkyl are attached to carbon number two at the same time all right so that is number eight all right so with that Okay, with that, we have now the eight rules, all right? So we have now the eight rules uh, that we should follow in naming hydrocarbons, especially alkane, alkynes, and alkenes. All right, so let's put that one to good use, all right? So let's visually, uh, let's uh, put those rules visually, all right? So let's use it visually. All right, so first thing to do is choose the correct ending. Now, let's scan. All right, let's scan this structure for any double bond. So there, there you are. You have your double bond over there. So the ending of this structure is E and E because of that double bond. All right, so that is rule number one. All right, rule number two, determine the longest chain. All right, in our... Uh, all right, so I will change the... I will change the pen to highlighter. So that you will be able to track down which one is the low, uh, which are the longest chain. All right. So if we count, okay. So if we count from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Are we correct? Okay. Certainly, uh, certainly we are not correct on that uh, counting because there's a rule that says that we prioritize the double band. So we will start where the double band or triple band is located. All right. So I have it right here. So we will start, this will be your yeah, longest chain. All right, so this will be your longest chain. There we go. All right, so this will be your longest chain. Let's see, uh, let's count the number of carbon. Why is it, uh, why it is considered to be the longest chain? All right, so let's have one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so there are six. Okay, and we started here on the carbon number one. Okay, so since there are six, we can call this one as hexene. All right, so hexene. Okay, we can have it hexene like this, and we can have it hexene like that. All right, so it's a, okay. Once okay, if the double bond is located on carbon number one, you don't need to put number one anymore. All right, so. Or you can put your number one, whichever you want, it is still the same thing. All right, next one. Assign numbers to each carbon. All right, so we assign numbers to each carbon, just like what we did uh, earlier. So we have one, two, three, four, uh, four, sorry, uh, five, and six. All right, so we cannot, we cannot count the other way around because there's a, a double band here. All right, so when you have a double band, all right, that's the start of your carbon uh, counting. All right, so that is one. Okay, so you cannot start here. All right, you cannot start here. So because uh, there's no double bond located on this side. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so that is one hexene. Okay, determine the side chain. So what are the side chains that we have right here? So number one, we have ethyl because it has two carbon. All right, we have methyl on this side and another methyl on this side. So notice where are they connected? All right, so where are they connected? So in this case, we have, all right, so we have two, two ethyl, all right, four methyl, one hexene. All right, so is this, is this the correct format? 
Alright, is this the correct format? So obviously, no, that is not the correct format. Instead, instead we group similar branches. So we have 2-ethyl, 4-4-dimethyl. We use di because uh, it has 2-methyl and 1-hexene. As you can see here, the two numbers are separated by comma. And this, uh, the structure, alright, so the statement or the name itself is separated by a hyphen. Alright, so it is separated by a hyphen, so no space, alright, no space on it, just replace it with hyphen, alright. So I repeat, numbers are separated by comma, alright, and uh, the name itself is separated by hyphens, alright. So, next one. Okay, so let's take a look at this propene. So what is a propene looks like? Alright, so in a condensed structure, it looks like this. Alright, so generally it is called also as one propene because the double bond is located on carbon number one. Okay, so that is carbon number one, number two, number three. Alright, so one propene. Alright, next, two butene. Okay, so it looks like this, the two butene. So in a line format, it looks like this. Alright, so in a line format, it looks like this. So this is two butene. Alright, so whichever way we count, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, alright, or 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, so the double band always lands on number, alright, it always lands on number 2, okay, so that is 2 butene, okay, next one. Okay, so we have here 2,4-dimethylpentene. So what is uh, what is a 2,4-dimethylpentene looks like? Alright, so it looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. So meaning to say that the 2 here is the location of your double bond. Alright, so it, likes, it will fall likely here. Alright, so this will be your 1. This will be your 2. Alright, so this one is, uh, sorry, so this one is uh, 3. Alright, so this one will be 3. Alright, so this one will be 4. Or either of the two can be 5. Alright, so let's make, it, uh, let's make it simplified. We can put the 5 here. Alright, so we can put the 5 here. Or you can put the 5 here on top, alright, if you want to, alright, it's the same thing uh, at the end of the day. Okay, so we have 2 pentene, then 2 4 dimethyl, so which, uh, which tells us that the methyl, okay, so which tells us that the methyl group is located at 2 4 uh, location. So we have 2 over here, so this one, and 4 over there, and this one, alright, so we have 5, so that will be pentene. Because it has double bond. Okay. So the last one we have uh, butyne. Alright, so we have butyne. So but why is it one butyne? Because uh, as you recall the rule, we should prioritize all multiple bonds. Alright, we should prioritize all multiple bonds in the lowest possible value. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four. Uh, you know what guys? The the good thing about alright. The good thing about this uh, naming hydrocarbons, especially when you have double bond and triple bond, you cannot count it backwards. Alright, you cannot count it backwards anymore. Because once you have the lowest value for your multiple bond, it tells you that that is the correct, alright, so that it, that is the correct, uh, that is the correct flow of counting, alright, your hydrocarbon. Alright, so... Please do take note that multiple bonds is given the priority of having the lowest value. Alright. Next one. How about this? Alright. So let's, let, let's name this one. Okay. So if we count this one. Alright. So if we find the longest chain here. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So not longest chain. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 below. So not longest chain as well. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so that's the longest chain, the one that we have right here, this one. This is the longest chain. And since it has double bond, we start numbering here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so there you go. So since we have 5, so we can call it as pent. Since we have double bond, we call it in, pentin. 
So, one pentene, then we have uh, two alkyl groups attached to your third carbon. So, we can we can name it as 3,3-dimethyl-1-pentene. Alright, so... Let's go to the other uh, to the other sample uh, sample structure. All right. So if we take a look at this one, all right, you have already uh, the double bond on this side. Okay. So let's let's start counting it. So let's find the longest uh, chain. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, not the longest chain possible. All right. So we have one, two, three, four. Not also the longest chain, but chain. But we can have the last one. This is now your longest chain. All right. So next one, num number your carbon. So since you have your double bond here, we will start right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right. So we have uh, pent because it has five. Then we have double bond in. All right. So one pentene and we have okay we have two alkyl groups attached to your number three so we can call it the same thing as earlier so we have three three dimethyl one pentene all right so let's go uh to the next one all right let's go to this next example all right so on this next example uh where we will start all right where will we uh, where we will start counting all right so as you can see you have your triple band over on this side so we will start counting on this side because the priority is your triple band should have a lowest value. So let's take a look later. Uh, let's count backwards. All right. All right. Let's try counting backwards if, if, if it will give us the lowest value possible. All right. So let's try. So we have one. Or right. we find first the longest chain. All right. So we have one, two. All right. Three, four. So not the longest chain. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, all right, seven. So we have seven so far, all right. So let's try uh, the one at the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have seven. So, so far, our longest chain here on this example is seven. So we can have uh, seven is called hep, all right, hep. And since we have triple band here, we called it heptine. All right, so we called it heptine. So where's this triple band located? So if that is seven over here, if that is seven over here, so this is now your longest chain. So I can have this one as my longest chain. Okay, so I can have this as well, but I want to, okay, I want, uh, I will choose this one. All right, so over the other one. Okay, so it's the same thing at the end of the day. All right, so let's count the number of carbons. All right, so let's count the number of carbons. So let's start from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we have seven, all right, if we start counting here. So what if we start counting uh, on the other side? All right, so let's start here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the third, all right, the triple band falls on number five and the other one falls on number two. Okay, just remember the triple band gets the lowest priority possible. So we can give it as two heptine. All right, so we can name this one as two heptine and notice all the, all the alkyl groups that you have right here. So we have ethyl. All right, so we have ethyl and we have methyl on this side. All right, so the methyl is located on number four, so we can call it as four methyl, and the ethyl is located on number, all right, so number five, yeah. All right, so the ethyl is located on number five, so we can call it five ethyl, four methyl, two heptyne, all right, so respectively. So that is uh, your third example that you have right there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on to another example. Okay, so what if, if you have uh, this, this structure? Okay, what if you have that structure and it has a branch over here and up two branch over there? All right, so there you go. Now, what is the name of this structure? 
Okay, so first thing to do is to find its uh, longest uh, chain. Alright, so if we find this longest chain, so it looks like uh, this one is the longest chain. Alright, so that is the longest chain. Alright, so... Okay, so since that is the longest chain, so we can count it. So we have one. Ah, sorry. Okay. Right, so we can have it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we can have it uh, like that, and the two alkyl groups will fall on two, three. All right, but we can also count it the other way around. Let's see. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so the alkyl groups will fall on numbers uh, four and five. All right, so there you go. Now, which of these alkyl groups or which of these uh, locations are, co are correct? Or which of these locations is correct? All right, so the answer is two and three. All right, so four and five is wrong. All right, so we can call this one as hexene. So we can name this as uh, hexene, uh, hexane rather. All right, hexane. And how many methyl do we have? So we have one, two, three. So we have trimethyl, right? So trimethyl. All right. So where is it located? So we have two. All right, two, four, and four, the high pen. All right. So don't forget that high pen. All right. So don't forget that high pen. So high pen. All right, so we have 244 trimethyl hexane. Okay, yeah, so that is the first example that we have right there. All right, so another one. Okay, all right, so let us uh, let me draw another example. All right, so another example. How about this one? Okay, by the way, the, uh, how you how how to draw triple bond. All right, how to draw triple bond. Now, in SP configuration, the triple bond is, um, it has an angular bond of 180 degrees. So you cannot do, okay, you cannot do this on a triple bond. There you go. You cannot do this one on the triple bond. Instead, a triple bond has uh, this straight line. Then you can have it like that. Okay. And like so. Then there you go. And if you have another triple band on the other side, then there you go. All right. So it looks like that. All right. It, uh, it must be 180 degrees. So like the one that you have right here, you cannot do something like that. It is only for double band. You can do that one for double band, like the one that you have right here. Okay. So you can do it on a double band, but not on a triple band basis. All right. So let's, uh, let's have another example. All right. What if... What if you have encountered this one? So we have a double band. Then it goes like that. And it ends up with a triple band on this side. Okay, there you go. Now, how are you going to name this one? Okay. First thing is find the longest chain. So obvious, uh, it, is, it is obviously seen here that the longest chain is uh, straightforward. Very straightforward. The longest chain is very... Uh, uh, very, very uh, common here. All right. So, uh, okay. So what we will do here is to uh, count it. All right. The count the number of carbons present on this structure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So we can uh, we can also count it the other way around. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So which one is correct? All right. Which one is correct? Now, in this case, your double bond. All right. So in this case, your double bond and your triple bond will fall on the same lowest value, one. Right. The same lowest value, which is one. But we should prioritize one of them. All right. We should prioritize one of them. Uh, you cannot name them both as one. 
Alright, now in this case, double bond has greater priority. Alright, so double bond, or we can have it, double bond is greater priority than triple bond. Now, if that is the case, or so if this is the if this is the structure, all right, this rule is applicable. So we can name this one as, all right. So we can name this one as one, all right. One, how many carbon? So we have eight. So we have oct. Okay. So since we have a double bond, so in. All right. So just drop the e. Alright, you have one octane, right? So you just drop the E and then put a hyphen on it and the location of the triple band. So we have seven. Alright, seven, nine. There you go. So this is the correct name for this uh, compound that you have right here. Now notice that it is arranged alphabetically E before Y. Okay, E before Y. And you drop the E once you name this one. Alright, so once you name this one, na, one you drop the E on your uh, naming. Alright, so we have 1 octen, 7, 9. Alright, so let me give you another example. Okay, so what if you encounter this kind of molecule? So the double band is located here and the triple band is located here. Alright. Triple band is located here. So, what is the name of this? Uh, what is the name of this compound? Right. So, what is the name of this compound? So, the name of this compound will depend on how you count it. So, the longest chain is already seen. All right. So, the way you count it. So, let's start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, let's have it. Uh, let's count it. Uh, the other way around. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There you go. Now, the question here is, as I've said earlier, we prioritize double bond. Okay, that is only true if this is the situation. But that is not applicable here. This in this case we don't we don't have uh, we don't have any choices at all. All right, we don't have any choices at all. So what happens here is the triple bond here will be given the priority of having the lowest value. All right, will be given the priority of having the lowest value because this is the first. All right, this is the first functional group that we have seen on this side. So this is number one. All right, so therefore, we can name this one as op. All right, then followed by the double bond. All right, so where is the double bond located? So we have number five. All right, so we can name it as five octen, one, ein. All right, so this is the name of this uh, compound that you have right here. Remember, remember, you cannot apply that rule to this structure that you have right here, huh? All right, so do not apply that rule on this structure. So whoever, all right, whoever bond, okay, that you see first, all right, whatever bond that you see first, that is the first priority. So take note that one, okay? So... Okay, so what if uh, it looks like this? Right, so what if it, uh, if your band or if your structure looks like this? So we have one there. Okay, so we have a double band here. We have a triple band uh, somewhere here. And another one over there. Then there you go. Okay, so what if, uh, what if uh, the problem looks like this? So what are you going to do? So don't forget, uh, the first thing that you need to do is to count first. Okay, so the longest chain is already seen on the picture. Alright, so the longest chain. So we don't have any problems at all with regards to the longest chain. So we can count it first. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we have deck, all right? We have deck here. All right, so uh, we can count it also the other way around. So we have, all right, instead of starting here, we have one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright. So let's see. The double bond. Alright. The double bond on green uh, numbers that we have on this picture. Alright. So the double bond is located at 8 and the triple bond is located at 3. Alright. Whereas on the red marks. Alright, so on the red numbers that you have right there, so the double bond is located on number 2 and the triple bond is located on number uh, 7. Alright, so which one is correct? Alright, so the correct answer here is this one. This is the correct, right, so this is the correct answer, 2 and 7. Because that is the lowest value possible. Alright, so we can name this one. We can now proceed uh, naming this one. So we can call it as, so let's remove this one. So we can call it as 2, okay, dec decin, alright, decin, drop the E, then hyphen, 7, I'm. Alright, so 2 decin, 7, I'm. Alright, so that is the correct naming for this uh, one over here. Okay, so let's go on to another sample problem. Alright. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so how can we name this uh, one? Okay, so first, okay, first thing to do is look for the double band. So should we, uh, do they, uh, does this structure have double band? Alright, so I think uh, it doesn't have a double band. Alright. So this is an in. Alright. So let's uh, find out which one is the longest possible chain. Alright. So if we count right here. Alright. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So not the longest chain. So we have uh, 5, 6. So not the longest chain as well. Okay, so we will continue on this uh, line. Uh, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Mm, reasonable. Okay, 5, 6. Alright, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so both of them are 7 on this on this part. Alright, so let's continue. Seb, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. So definitely, this is your longest chain because it has 10. The first one that we have counted is just uh, 7. Alright, so let's uh, change it to uh, highlighter mode. Alright, so this is the longest chain. So let's, have, uh, let's highlight the longest chain. Alright, so this is your longest chain. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that is the longest chain. So we have 10. Alright, so now next uh, next process is to count the number of carbons. Alright, so to count the number of carbons present on this structure. Let's go. Okay, so where will we start? Okay, if we start right here, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so... The alkyl groups will fall on 5, alright, so this is the alkyl group, will fall on 5 and 6, alright, so whereas when we start, uh, when we start counting on this side, okay, let's start counting on this side, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, Alright, so the the alkyl groups also falls on number 5 and 6. Now, where are we what are we going to do here? So let's uh, let's write first uh, let's write first the Okay, so we have the cane. Alright, so we have the cane and we have this uh, trimethyl. Alright, so we have this trimethyl. Alright, so we have this trimethyl and we have uh, an ethyl, alright? 
We have here an 18. Now, what number are we going to put there? Is it five C uh is it uh six five? Alright? Is it six uh for the ethyl? Is it six or five? Alright, so as much as possible, alright, so as much as possible you give the okay, you give the okay, you give the Okay, the highest or you prior you prioritize the highest possible value on the first uh, group of alkyl under alphabetical in an al alphabetical order. So in this case, so we have okay, so we have uh, right here the ethyl. So it will fall on number six. All right, so it will fall on number six. Okay, and we have. Okay, and we have the other methyl group, alright? So the trimethyl will fall on under 6, 5, 5. Alright, so we call it 6 ethyl, 6, 5, 5 uh, hyphen, trimethyl decane. Alright, so this is connect, uh, let's connect this one. Trimethyl decane. Alright, so that is. Uh, Okay, so that is the proper naming of uh, okay, this is the proper naming for your okay of your uh, alkane. All right, next one. Okay, so how about this one? Okay, so how about this? Okay, so in this case, okay, so we'll try to uh, we'll try first finding the longest chain. Uh, or double bond first. Okay, so is there a double bond on this structure? So I think none. So this is an A. Okay, next, find the longest uh, chain. Alright, so find the longest chain. Alright, so we have... Okay, so we count uh, from here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, so we have 8 so far okay so if we count here one two three four five six seven seven okay so four five six just yeah, six five six five six seven all right so if we continue five six seven we just we, we just have seven only so we can have the longest uh chain located on this area all right so this is your longest chain okay there you go all right so that is your longest chain now let's count the number of carbons all right so on the on two different direction okay so if we start right here all right if we start right here so we have one two three four five six seven eight right so it makes sense all right next one uh how about uh we use uh, uh light or green all right so let's use this one so let's count uh from this side so we have one two three four five six seven eight all right so Let's see, alright, let's see where the methyl or the alkyl groups will fall. Right. Now, on the blue one, the alkyl will fall on 4. Okay, we have 5. And we have 6. Alright, so we have 4, 5, 6. Alright. Now, if you take a look at the green one, Alright, if you take a look at the green one, so we have uh, the alkyl will fall on 3. Alright, so 3 we have... Okay, so 3. Next, we have 4. And we have 5. Okay, so generally speaking, uh, we should prioritize the lowest possible value so we can have this one. Okay, the 3, 4, 5 position. Alright, so we can have the 3, 4, 5 position. So, let's get started. Okay, so this is, um, how many? 8? So we have 8, so we have octane. Alright, so we have octane. 
Okay, so the attachments. Alright, so the attachments. So how many metal do we have? Alright, so how many metals do we have? So we have okay, one, two. So we have two dimethyl. Alright, so dimethyl. Okay, so we have uh dimethyl over here. Alright. Okay, so we have a propyl. Alright, so we have a propyl. So M before P. So we have a propyl attached to this one. Propyl. There you go. Okay, next one. How about uh, the ethyls? How many ethyls? One, two. Alright, so we have two ethyls here. So we can have diethyl. There you go. So the numbers. Okay, so the numbers. Let's have the, et the ethyl first. So we have three, four, five. Alright, so we have four, five diethyl. Then the uh, the methyl uh, the next one next one is the methyl so we have three four three four next one all right next one is the propyl so the propyl is located on number five all right so five propyl okay so this is the correct name for this uh for uh, chemical structures so we have four five diethyl three four dimethyl five propyl octane. Okay, so that is the okay so that is the okay uh, another example for you all right so next one okay now uh, let's take a look okay is there a double bond so first rule uh, find that if there is a double bond or triple bond so there's no triple bond nor double bond so this is an A all right so let's find the longest uh, chain possible right so I will use uh, blue all right, so let's find the longest chain. Hmm. Okay, so let's think. All right, so where's the longest chain? Okay, so let's have this one. One, two, three. All right, so just three. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have the same here. Alright, so let's take a look. Alright, so it will fall on the same number. So we can, um, let's simplify our, uh, let's make our lives easier. Okay, I will just have this one. Okay, so this is our longest chain. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Alright, so let's, uh, let's continue. Okay. So this is your uh this is the pen uh we will go into count it all right let's count it uh from this side first one two three four five six okay so let's use another pen uh we use green all right let's count from this side all right so this side first so we have uh one two three four uh five six okay so there we go okay so which one is correct okay so let's uh use the red now okay so let's see okay on the blue one all right so on the blue one the alkyl groups we have ethyl we have propyl and we have an ethyl uh, over here, all right? So methyl, ethyl, then propyl. All right, so on the first one, so we have, uh, okay, the location of the alkyl groups, we have two, then we have uh, four. I right, sorry, we have three. There you go, we have three. Whereas on the other side, all right, so we have three, right? And on the other side, the green one, so one, two, three, four. So the first one is four. And the other one is uh, five. Right. Now, which one is uh, which one is reasonable here? Right. Which one is reasonable? So we can use, all right, so we can use this one. All right, because that's the lowest value that we have. All right. Okay, by looking at this one, that's the log uh, uh, lowest value that is available. All right, so since we have six, this is hexane. 
and we do have a methyl right so we have methyl over here we have an ethyl just one all right and we have a propyl all right so we have a propyl over there so let's put the numbers so the ethyl is uh three all right three ethyl next uh we have the methyl which is located on number five five methyl all right next one uh the propyl is number four all right so i sorry number three there you go all right so we have three ethyl five methyl three propyl hexane okay so that is all right i'd rather two where does this five came from all right so i forgot to have this one okay so we can have it okay so we can have three ethyl all right two methyl three propyl hexane okay so that is um that is the okay that is how you uh, name this uh compounds next one all right so next is okay next is the Okay, next is the structure that you have right here. Okay, so what do we have right here? So we have, okay, so we have uh, the double band is located here. So therefore, we will start counting on this side. So we have one, two, three, four. All right, so four, five, uh, we have the same over here. So we can have five on this side. All right, so we can have five on that side. And... What will be its uh what will be its name? All right. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the other side. Let's let's try to find out. Maybe this side coming from this side. All right, we can have the lowest value for this uh double band. So we have one, two, three, uh four, and we have five. Okay, so the double band will fall on number 3. Alright, whereas on the other hand, we have 2. So we will prioritize 2. So the name of this compound, alright, so the name of this compound is, uh, we have 2, okay, 2 pentin. Alright, so we have 2 pentin. So this 2 pentin is attached, or there's something attached to it on number uh number four all right guys uh, the double band all right so the double band has more priority than the alkyl huh? all right just take note of that one all right so we can have number four so four methyl so four methyl two pentin all right so okay so my camera already hanged hanged up okay okay so next one okay so feel free all right so feel free to post this uh post the video yeah so before if you want to answer the if you want to answer the sample problem that we have all right so let's take a look at this one okay so now since we have double band here this is an in and we should start counting on this side all right so we have one two all right so three all right so if we can consider this one we can have four all right so that's the, that's not the longest okay so we have four now if we consider this one we have five okay but five is not enough so we have five six so six is the longest so we have hexane over here all right so we have hexane now, uh, since this is the lowest va value possible, so we can have it one hexene. All right, so we can have it one hexene. And okay, so since we have this one uh, hexene that you have, so we have an, an, an attachment. So we have a metal here and another metal there. So we have two metals. So we have uh, three. Okay, what do you what do you what do we got here? So three, uh, four. All right, so we have three, four. All right, so three, four, uh, dimethyl. All 
Right, so dimethyl, pardon me, uh, sorry for my handwriting, so 3,4-dimethyl-1-hexene. Alright, so that is the name of this uh, compound that you have right here. Okay, so, okay, let's have the, hey, let's have more, okay, let's have, let's have more uh, sample problems. Okay, okay. So in this uh, sample problem that we have, okay, so Okay, so in this sample problem that we have, so okay. Uh we have two double bonds here. All right? So we have two double bonds. So what are we going to do here? Okay. So either of which it uh we, it falls on the same uh okay it falls on the same lowest priority value but once you have an alkane over here so let's see where this alkane falls where this alkane falls okay on this one okay where this alkane falls when we count it on two different uh position all right so let's start with uh let's start with if we count on this one all right so if we count on this one one two three four five six seven so the alkyl will fall on number three right so three now if we count it the other way around let's start on this one one two three four four five six seven all right so first the alkyl falls on number five next one the double bond will fall on number six all right so the double bond will fall on number six okay on the other side okay so the double bond will fall on all right so the double bond will fall on number uh one and number six respectively on the other side so we have one and six as well right so i think so one one and six okay so uh what can we do here all right what can we do here so since the alkyl falls on number three and five all right number three and five we will now uh, prioritize its lower value of three not the five all right so let's uh let's name this one Okay, so let's name this one. So we will not uh, use this one anymore, the blue one. Okay, so we will not uh, anymore use the blue one. And we'll proceed now. Okay, so we have... Okay, so 3 methyl. Alright, so 3 methyl. 1. Alright, so 1, 6. Alright, 1, 6. So since we have seven, okay, since we have seven, one, six, hep, hepta, so we put an A here because the next one is a uh, consonant. All right, so hepta, di, why is it di? Because we have two uh, double bonds here. We have two double bonds. So di, in. All right, so three methyl, one, six, hepta, di, in. Or you can also name this one as three methyl, all right, three methyl hepta hepta di one six in. All right, so there you go. So whichever whichever will make you comfortable, you can have this or you can have this one. So it's up to you. All right. So next one. All right. So next is the um, okay. Next is the structure that we have right here. It's a very uh, complicated structure, huh? Okay, so we have triple band. So obviously, we will start where the triple band is. All right, so this is now the start of numbering. So we can have one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can have this as five or we can have this one as five. All right, so let's make our life seem uh, uh, easier. So let's put this one as five. Okay, so since the triple band is located to 1 and we have 5, so we have 1, 
pen time. Since we have triple band. So one pen time, then we have four. Right? So we have four. Okay, so that's the location of the metal group. So we have four metal. Okay, so we have four metal, one pen time. Alright, so this is the correct name for this structure that you have right here. Okay, next one. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a closer look. So, the longest chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so we can have this one as 5, 6. Or we can have this as 5, 6. So, let's make our life simpler. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six. Now, if we count the other way around, alright, if we count the other way around, do we have the same value for the triple band? So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have three. Alright, so, but our, uh, our metal group, alright, our metal group is located on the lowest possible carbon number. Alright, so what are we going to do here? Okay, so as we said earlier, we should prioritize the alkyl. Alright, we will prioritize the alkyl as uh, the lowest possible value for the alkyl that we have right here. So we have two. Alright, so we will not follow this uh, red one that you have right here. Since, alright, since your triple bond falls on the same number, so we don't have any problem at all. Alright, so... Okay, so we can have uh, 2, 2, okay, there you go, dimethyl, all right, dimethyl, so how many? We have 6, so we have 6 and the location of the triple band is on 3, 3, uh, hexine, there we go, 3 hexine, so that is the name of our hydrocarbon that is featured here. Alright, next one. Okay, so this is a very tricky one because it contains two uh it contains two uh multiple bands. So uh, a, a double band over here and a triple band over there. Alright, so let's follow uh let's uh let's start. Okay, okay, let's start with uh where can we start? Alright, where we will start. So the double band is located here at number one. Alright, and if we count this one, two, three, four, all right, we cannot go here, five, six, all right, so we have six. Then if we count the other way around, all right, so if we count from the, if we count from the triple band, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Alright, so which is which? So remember the rules that uh, remember the rule that we have earlier that the double band will be prioritized if we have choices over here. Alright, if we have choices. So the double band will be prioritized, so we will start, so we will not use the green one anymore. Alright, so the numbering that we will use is the blue one. Alright, so let's uh write the answer. Okay, so we have Okay, so the methyl falls on number 4. 4 methyl. Alright, so 4 methyl. Where's the the, uh, the first one? The, the double band falls. So number 1. 1. Okay, hex. Drop the E. Then the triple band is located on number 5. 5. Nine. Alright, so there we go. So the name of this compound is 4-methyl, 1-hexen, 5-ion. Okay, so there you go. Okay, next. Okay, next one. Okay, again, another example with the... Uh, okay, with the, with the two multiple bonds that we have. Alright, so let me change the pen to uh, light blue. Alright. Alright, so in this case, uh, where will we start? Alright, so the first band that we see here is this one. Right? Is this one. Okay, not this one. Because this is automatically number one. Okay, then followed by two. Followed by three. And the last is four. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so Okay, so we decide now uh, one rather we have two here. Okay, so I forget the carbon here. We have two then we have three then we have four then we have five. All right, so five. So all in all, we have five carbon here, and the metal group is on this side. All right. So okay, if we start numbering here, okay, that will be wrong. All right. So if we start numbering here, so for example, you have one, two, three, four, five. All right. So the first multiple band that we see immediately is the carbon uh, here. All right. So the double band carbon here. All right, so let's uh, let's name this one. Okay, so let's name this thing that we have right here. So we have, all right, so two methyl. All right, so this is a methyl one here. Okay, two methyl. So the single bond is located on one. Uh, how many? We have five. One pent in. Then the triple band is located on number three, three ion. All right. So the name of this compound is two methyl one pentan three ion. All right. So okay. So basically, those are some examples or those are some sample problems that is uh, associated with uh, the hydrocarbons, the alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. So. On the next day, all right, on our next topic, so we have this uh, functional group, all right? So we will attach this functional group to your uh, alkanes, alkynes, and alkenes. So it will be a topic for another day. So let's go back. All right, so that ends up our video today. So if you gain some knowledge uh, on this, okay, if you gain some knowledge on this video, uh, just hit the like button on the, uh, just hit the like button on this video. All right, it will help a lot. And if you have questions and comments about the things that you have seen on this video, just write it in the comment section of this video. All right, so I will uh, try my best to answer those uh, questions. And and if you do have a suggestion, just write it, uh, put it right there. All right. So if you want, uh, if you want to have more videos like this in the future, just hit the subscribe button and all right, and the uh, notification bell beside it. All right. So with that, that ends up our video lesson for today about hydrocarbons. So let's see each other next time on the next video. All right. So see you later. Peace out.